This is Delaware, second floor or unit B. That is open concept. What I want to start out with is the fact that there is an open concept. Let me uh, close the blinds because sometimes you see it better. Sometimes with the sun it makes it worse, sometimes it doesn't. So what I want you to see is this high-end kitchen. Let's start there, guys. Boom, look at that. There's a stove present, a fridge present. I don't want to say it's brand new, but it's pretty good looking, you know. Don't look dirty to me. So let's just call it new enough. Stove looks the same. But a man, but a being, high-end kitchen, open concept. Good thing about this is that this living room was designed perfectly. So you come in there, you put the TV there. You can put the couches like this, the little chair there, and the, L, the long one there, or you could L it out this way. So you have walking in, whatever. You go out as far as you want, depending on the table you need. Now, there's three beds, one back. You absolutely can fit a six person table right here like this and still have the room to move and groove. But to be honest with you, uh, most people who eat in front of the TV, and with that being said, if you're one of those people, you still got this for like a office game console. Uh, again, it's three bed, one bath. You could have a college kid or just somebody who has to take uh, at home sometimes. What do you call that? Um, you have to do it from home. <laughs> I forgot. It's Friday, guys. Give me a chance. Anyways, you can set up a desk, game console, chair, boom, boom, boom. You got brand new matching LVP gorgeous floors throughout. And so it's safe to roll on that thing. So high-end kitchen, open concept, gorgeous separation, enough to make a, you know, a couch, TV, desk, game console, or six-person table. You still have the room to walk around. It all depends, how do you want to do it, you know? Uh, let's just start with how it goes. Usually I like to show everything and then the bedrooms last, but this is what we're gonna call the master because it's really big. It's about a 14 by 15, or it's it's definitely 14 by 15. It's an odd number, it's one foot longer than wider. But this is big, man. You can fit California King. You can do whatever you want. The only thing is that you're probably gonna have to focus on the bed here in front of a window because of the way these two windows are. And then you have plenty of room here for the rest. You got a huge closet. So, you know, gym bags and Christmas trees are probably gonna be in here. But you got a huge walk-in closet. I mean, this thing is like two feet more. It's almost three feet in this part of life. Five, six feet wide. Actually, five, seven, but hey. You got some overstock, or as I would like to say it, her closet, his closet. <laughs> That's just the way it works. Take it or leave it. So you walk in here, this is gonna be bedroom number two. It's three bedroom, one bath. This is a big room. This is 10 by 12. This you could also fit in California King. Most Master bedrooms in this area are are smaller than this, and this is the secondary room. You know, the master's actually bigger. Uh, this also has a big enough closet. You know, like, if you have twins, and they need a bigger room, but you need a big room, it's right next to the kitchen, you can still use that second closet. He can come out <laughs> and get his stuff, he'll live. Come over here, and this is gonna be bedroom number three. Now, to be fair, this is average bedroom in this area, period. This is a huge, this is at least by 11 by 11. It ain't quite 12, I don't think. Or maybe like a 10 and a half by 11. But this is a big room, this is huge. So in the city of Chicago, this is called a loft. This is an entire second floor. It's about, uh, I mean, I'm close to a thousand square feet. You got open concept, dining, living, you got all big closets. But a bang, but a bing, look at that huge closet. Uh, you get the box in your own thing, which also is very, very useful, you know. 
I don't know. So you walk this way, it's useful when it's in. And you got actually a pretty big bathroom. See, you know I don't like these mirrors. You know, when I go stand in the mirror, I gotta charge more. <laughs> Tower, sur uh, uh, tile surround. It's good, it's good, it's nice, attractive. Beautiful colors, man. I'm just, I'm gonna move in this place. There is some off street parking. You got your own back, you know, back little area, little back deck. You share a backyard with the first floor. Uh oh, five minutes is done. That's it. Let's just get it. Look at this kitchen. Woohoo!